Hi, I'm Kate Reynolds. I am your Friday Fictionista, and this week I am going to talk about writing blurbs. If you are writing a book, this is going to be something that you inevitably will have to do. And if you have written a book and you are in the process of submitting it, you will have already started this agonizing process that will be repeated many, many, many times during um, the lovely path to publication and afterwards. Oh yes, it doesn't stop. I am the first to admit that I suck at writing blurbs and that I hate writing blurbs with the passion of a million sons. That's right. I, I would, I would rather write cover letters for job interviews than write blurbs. That's saying a lot. A lot. I find that the best way to start writing a blurb is to actually get off the computer and pick up one of these and one of these and another one, which just fell down. I like to start scratching things out and writing down words and little phrases. Somehow it doesn't feel quite as formal as typing it does. When I type something for a blurb, it feels very committed and serious. Like, you know, we've moved on to the monogamous phase of our, our relationship. Um, but when I'm just doodling in a notebook, it feels, you know, I'm playing the field. I'm, you know, dating a lot of words, you know, um, really trying to find out what I want from a blurb. It's hard these days. So if you get really, really stuck, and that usually happens for me within, oh, you know, the first sentence, a couple of words, um, there are a couple of things you can do. Um, one is Pinterest. Go to Pinterest and actually you can check out my Pinterest board, Kate Ray Love, and I'll put the address in the credits. Um, I have a board specifically devoted to writing different writing prompts, ways of writing blurbs, uh, crafting your story, improving things, things like that. And there are some things about how to write blurbs in there. Um, there's also tons of uh, pieces of blog posts and advice that are posted on Pinterest. And it's a really easy way to find those posts. Um, the next thing that you can do is talk to somebody. Um, I have my friend Britt who is my sounding board for a lot of things. And sometimes what happens is because she gets my writing and she gets me so perfectly and so deeply, all I have to do is just quick send her via Facebook Messenger the little tidbit I'm working on and she'll come back and she'll switch around three words or tell me, no, that's not right, try it again, or you're doing something completely wrong, or actually, aren't you trying to say this? and um, then that puts me in the uh, right direction. The third option is get over the blank page. So what you really want to do is, the hardest thing to do is to write from a perfectly blank page. So sometimes I literally will close my eyes and just type three or four really awful crappy sentences, it doesn't even matter. But once I have those on the screen, it actually makes a huge difference psychologically in terms of motivating yourself and not feeling so intimidated by that blank screen. So even though what I've put up there is the world's most god awful crap and should never see the light of day, um, it is a starting point. And once you have a starting point, it's easier to edit something like a blurb than to create something like a blurb. So those are my hints. Hope they helped. So as you can tell this week, I got my voice back. I am recovering very well and uh, pretty much back in the groove of things. So have a happy Friday, happy hour from your Friday Fictionista. And if you're curious as to what this is, this is Siberian 
pine nut liqueur. That's right. My neighbor gave it to me. I have the most awesome neighbor ever. So here we go. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, so I added in some chocolate liqueur to see if that'll help. Can't taste it at all. <laughs> 